Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish, and today I'm going to make a video, and it's not going to be about this. This was a situation that just, don't crack your neck, kids. It's not good. <laughs> um, I'm in extreme pain, but I'm on, like, ibuprofen. It feels so much better right now, and I thought, hey, while I can't do anything else right now, I'll make a video. So... I actually just got this package in the mail and you guys know who it is it's Arctic Buffalo wait it was gonna hold up a sticker ah Arctic Buffalo yes um I have three incense sticks going on in here so it is fragrant so the thing I love about this is how tiny this little box, how tiny this little box is. Um, I was like, I just ordered like 10 things. How did it come in a tiny box? And then I realized, oh yeah, it's because everything I ordered is super tiny. Um, first off, all of the piercings I have, except for this one. Uh, these moon, these moon, or no, Howlite, uh, teardrop shape plugs. They look like moons, even though they're teardrop shapes. They're awesome. And, um, and then I have this horseshoe piercing. I know that's not what it's really called, but that's really cool. And then I have this nose stud, but it's in my ear. Um, those are from Arctic Buffalo. I wanted to also talk about um, Manic Panic makeup that I got from Arctic Buffalo. Uh, it's super awesome and you can get everything on the Arctic Buffalo website for 20% off using my discount code JELLYFISH. I know half of you know this already because they're one of my favorite people that I promote and honestly it's not even because I promote them, it's because I get so much from there. Um, they have makeup, they have hair dye, and they have plugs. That's all I do in my life. Like, that's my life joy right there. Since it is mainly a plug website, um, I got some really pretty ones for you guys to see. Uh, you guys know how much I love uh, Opal. Opal, no, not Opal. Opal is my piercing. Opalite. Opalite is so different. Opalite is an opalized glass. It is still technically a stone, but it is man-made. And it's um, it's a really, really pretty stone because opalite, um, I already have plugs uh, from them that are opalite, but these ones are special. Um, basically, opalite, if you hold it up against something dark, <laughs> it, it's blue. But if you hold it up... Um, with light behind it, it's amber. Um, I don't want to twist my camera around or anything, but yeah. These beautiful plugs are opalite. Um, all of the plugs I have are half inch, by the way. Um, but they're just so shiny and pretty, and I'm totally gonna wear them. Oof. The next pair, why is this, ah, oh, zoomed in on my mouth. Like the other two pairs are actually glass. Technically, all three pairs are glass. I know some people who absolutely hate glass because they've had plugs that um, have shattered on the ground if you drop it. I've never dropped mine. So this one is the blue and green ditroic swirls glass plugs. Oh my god, they're so pretty. To me, they look like... Oh, look how they just glow in the slightest light. Um, I just think these are beautiful because my hair, I'm really rocking the blue, or the teal and green hair. Uh, it's up. To me, they look like dragon eyes or something crazy like that. Don't you love them? They're just so perfect. Uh, last but not least, out of the three pairs of plugs I got today, I'm just gonna keep it at this blur so that I can hold up the next pair. They are the purple and pink. Yeah, purple and pink ditroic. Okay, I don't know if I'm saying this word right. It's D-I-C-H-R-O-I-C swirl glass plugs. So they're the same thing as the other ones, but instead they're um they're a different 
color. And um, a big difference between the two is the color is coming from the back part of the plug and then it's shining through the clear glass, if that makes sense. But in this pair, the uh, design is in the front and then there's clear glass behind it. Um, yeah, so these plugs also look like some kind of a dragon eye. They're gorgeous. If I, oh, I wonder if I can actually fit this. It's not really fitting because honestly, some plugs have slight changes to how, um, how big and small they are. So this one seems just a little bit too big just because the flares are bigger than the middle and my ears have my ears are not really very stretchy right now cuz I've been wearing a smaller size plug lately. I'm just going to put these ones in for now. One time this is a crazy story, not to judge, but one time at Warped Tour, I saw this guy moshing, and he had those big, big holes, but no, no plug in it, and you could see that it snapped or ripped or something. I didn't see any blood, so I think it happened previously, but he literally had a lobe that was like that, but like detached there, so it was like a tiny little piece there, and then a long free lobe that was just it just looked like a worm hanging down his neck and I was like oh my god it's crazy but uh don't freak out about my ears guys I like it so don't judge me okay yep so that's what's going on right now ow ooh that's enough of that for today yeah boxes I can't I just cut my fingernails super short so like I can't even grab onto anything either comment down below how long your fingernails are and do you prefer having long fake fingernails or long real fingernails or short real fingernails I hate having long nails I feel gross with long nails whether they're real or fake because all I know is I just like always have dirt stuck under my nails if they're too long. Um, not that I don't wash my hands, but it's just kind of like, it's not even a reality. It's sort of just a fear in my head. Like my my theory is that if I have long nails, they're my fingers are always dirty. Uh, that's how I feel at least. So I like to have them short. Also, everyone always complains about how gross my fingernails look because I never ever have, um, I never ever have solid fingernail polish unless it's the first day I do it because for some reason I just do so many things with my hands that it all comes off within like the first two days of me having nail polish on my nails. So, um, and I don't care about it like that either. People think in their head like, oh, she's nasty because she doesn't take care of her nails. Like I do, I'm just not going to sit down and paint my nails every other day. It's not going to happen, guys. My nails are, are going to be dead if I do that anyways. Uh, and I'm not one of the people to pay a lot of money to get my nails done. Because I work at a salon. I work with my hands. And working with chemicals and on hair. And blow drying hair and cutting hair. Like I always chip my nail polish doing stuff like that using those kind of tools. This has become a total chit chat video. Okay guys, so those were my three pairs of plugs from Arctic Buffalo for today. You At the end of this video, there's going to be um, a video that pops up that you can click on. This is going to be the video of me reviewing the uh, four new lipsticks I got from uh, the Manic Panic line that they sell at Arctic Buffalo. So you can get it at the same place. But um, the, uh, the lipsticks... I'll be talking about and swatching them as well as all of my other lipsticks by the Manic Panic line just because I have so many at this point and I just wanted to swatch them for you guys so that you can see what I have because I do put them on my eyes and stuff. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you would like to. Stay epic. Bye.